osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is also known as degenerative arthritis or degenerative joint disease. It is the most common chronic condition of the joints associated with cartilage degeneration. In normal joints, the cartilage provides a smooth gliding surface for joint movement and acts as a cushion between the bones. In osteoarthritis, the cartilage breaks down causing pain, swelling and problems in moving the joint. Some of the major risk factors for the development of osteoarthritis include advanced age, female gender, muscle weakness, obesity, joint trauma, heredity, congenital or developmental anatomical defects and repetitive stress. Pharmacologic Choices Standard pharmacological osteoarthritis management involves a stepwise approach consisting of the initial use of topical analgesics followed by oral analgesics and injectable agents. Topical analgesics offer an alternative to oral treatment with the potential for a reduced risk of side effects. These options may be especially useful in the elderly who are at increased risk of gastrointestinal, renal, cardiovascular and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug induced adverse effects. Opioids The use of opioids has potential value in terms of pain relief, but the side effect profile and potential for misuse preclude opioids as a first choice in the management of osteoarthritis. Tremadol is an effective and relatively safe oral agent for the relief of moderate to severe pain in osteoarthritis. Antidepressants Duloxetine, a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, demonstrated significantly greater improvement in osteoarthritis knee pain compared with placebo. Adverse effects leading to discontinuation of the drug included nausea and asthenia. It should be noted here that although serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors exhibit antiplatelet properties, the combination of duloxetin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs does not appear to be associated with an increased risk of bleeding related events compared with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs used alone. With reference to glucosamine and chondriotin, it should be noted here that endogenous glucosamine and chondriotin maintain the integrity of cartilage within a joint. Several systemic reviews and meta-analyses have failed to demonstrate the efficacy of exogenous glucosamine and chondriotin for the relief of osteoarthritic pain. The results are difficult to interpret due to high levels of heterogeneity and differences in commercial formulations, and accordingly treatment guidelines do not recommend these supplements for the treatment of osteoarthritis.